guys and girls, last week I bought a Soldano SLO100 for just $60. For real. Yep, you heard that right. And it is insane. Oh, you thought it was this one. No, 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 not this one. This one. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. And if you're new here, it's great to have you here. So I have a little bit of an obsession with Soldano amps, which actually started many, many, many moons ago when I was still young. Yeah, I didn't have a big gray beard and I had just started playing guitar. But before I tell you all about my obsession, and it's a very, very healthy obsession, by the way, <laughs> if you're new to my channel and you dig contents like this, then be sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the bell notification as well. Trust me, your future self will be thanking you because I have more Soldano videos coming really, 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 really soon. Okay, back to the SLO. Picture this, it's 1989 and there I am, a younger version of myself, of course, flipping through Guitar World and Guitar for the Practicing Musician, staring at the ads for an amp that has been taking the rock world by storm, the Soldano SLO 100. Now, back in the day, there was no way in God's earth I could afford one. <laughs> no. <laughs> But boy, did I want one. Fast forward to about the year 2000 and an industrious me built one from scratch. Seriously, got the chassis, components, transformers, built the board myself, everything. And it worked for a while until it didn't. <laughs> then eventually I bought a Soldano Supercharger GTO pedal and a Series 2 preamp. My tone chasing had finally reached Sonic Nirvana. And speaking of chasing the perfect tone, before I tell you all about my journey to finally getting my dream amp, I want to take a quick moment to thank today's video sponsor, Charlie and John's Guitar Strings. You know, when you're obsessing over tone like I do, every single part of the signal chain matters and your strings are absolutely crucial to that equation. I've been using Charlie and John's strings for the past couple of months on my Luke guitar and a couple of my other guitars and they've been an essential part of my tone quest. Each set is handcrafted in the USA and the attention to detail really shows in both the feel and the sound. They have this perfect balance of brightness and warmth that complements amps like the Soldano beautifully, clear and articulate without being harsh or thin. What really impresses me about these strings is how they feel so smooth under your fingers and the incredible tuning stability as well. Whether I'm dialing in pristine clean tones or pushing the amp into overdrive territory, these strings just feel right. Now I know some people are skeptical about guitar strings. I mean, strings are strings, right? Well, not quite. <laughs> these will genuinely change your mind about what a difference quality strings can make. The clarity and sustain I'm getting has made a noticeable improvement in my overall tone. So if you want to level up your tone game, head over to Charlie and John's website. Link will be in the description box below. And remember, when you support my sponsors, you're directly supporting this channel and it's helping me create more cool contents like this and I'm ever so grateful. Okay, now back to my Soldano journey. So even though I had some Soldano gear in my collection, I still coveted the holy grail, the SLO amp itself. I vowed to myself that one day I would have one. And last year, finally it happened. I built a custom SLO, which is called my SLO 30 JP. And it is as amazing as I remember the amp from back in the day. So when I saw Neural DSP's email saying 50% off deal for Black Friday, I jumped onto the website and, well, I actually hesitated because I tried the first iteration of this plugin when it came out a couple of years ago. And I was a little bit underwhelmed if I'm honest. <laughs> but this new version, oh my goodness. I demoed it and it just completely blew me away. There, right at my fingertips, was the two-channel master of an amp that I love playing, albeit I have a 30-watt version of it. That tone, that growl, that saturation, the feel of all those weird little quirks that it has, all in there. I instantly fell in love with it and I basically went to the website and it was like, just take my money, take my money, take my money. <laughs> and I am so, so glad I did because it has been completely and utterly mesmerizing to play. Now, don't get me wrong. I still absolutely love playing through the real amp. In fact, I prefer playing through my real amp because there is nothing like glowing tubes, but this plugin is just wow. Just wow. 
for use in the studio sometimes or if I'm traveling and just have my laptop, man, I wouldn't even hesitate to use this. So I figured I would share it with you guys. So let's talk about the features of this plugin. The layout is the same as the real amp and the interface is so awesome because it is the amp in the virtual world. Yeah, it's super, super awesome. Two channels, you have the clean stroke crunch channel and you have the overdrive channel. There are preamp knobs on both the normal and the overdrive channels. There's bass, middle, treble, masters on both channels, a presence and a depth. And there are switches for the channel switching between the clean stroke crunch mode and the overdrive mode and a bright switch as well, which I really like because it actually mirrors my actual SLO 30 amp. This is as close to the real deal as you can get folks. And the really cool thing is that the controls work like the real amp too. Let me explain this. You see on the SLO, there is a sweet spot for the preamp gain and the master. You can turn everything up to 11, but in all honesty, the sound gets a little mushy when you do that. So generally for high gain tones, my preamp control on the overdrive channel is between five and seven, and the master will be between five and eight. That gives me plenty of gain and that nice, fat, juicy tone. Pushing the gain more just gives a little bit more saturation. Trust me folks, as a long time user of the amp, you really don't need any more than that. These settings will give you incredible rhythm tones and those sweet, sweet searing lead tones as well with sustain for days. And the master, well, if you do push it too far, then the low end gets pushed forward a lot and the tone gets a little bit muddy and mushy in my experience. This ain't the Marshall Plexi, where you can turn everything up to 10 and you're in that place of bliss. <laughs> and you know, the plugin captures all of that, all of those little nuances. That is the really, really amazing part for me, where you turn the master up too much and it gets a bit flubby. That's so, so cool. That's the part that really amazes me and it is why it feels so real and like the real deal. One thing that really stands out for me when playing the plugin is the note articulation. Whether I'm playing chunky power chords or ribbing through fast solos, every single note just pops out and is perfectly audible. There's nowhere to hide with this amp, folks, <laughs> which is exactly how the real deal behaves. The plugin also comes with some effects, a compressor and a couple of drive pedals and a chorus pedal before the amp plus an EQ, a delay, and a reverb after the amp. To be honest, I didn't really use these much. The drive pedals sound great. I did try them out, but with this much gain, who needs a drive pedal, right? <laughs> and the reverb and delay, well, they're okay, but I've heard better plugins for those effects. They are good if you're using the plugin as a standalone unit, but in my DAW, I prefer other plugins for my delay and reverb. But I've got to mention the speaker cabinet section of this plugin. This is where Neural DSP has done some serious wizardry. The selection of mics and tones that I was able to dial in was just fantastic. And the ability to add in some room sound really captivated me. It elevated the sound of the amp plugin to a new level. I used just a hint on the overdriven guitars and a little bit more on the clean guitar tone to give me a little bit more realism in the guitar sound. Now people, I know I show you a new piece of gear pretty much every single week, but when something this good comes along, how can I not share it with you, right? The SLO 100 became legendary in the rock and metal world with players like Warren Martini, Steve Lucas, or Steve Stevens, and a whole list of other guitar slingers from back in the day just flocking to buy it. It was the thing to get. It was the big daddy of amps. And let's not forget, that even Eddie Van Halen, he was a huge fan of these amps too. He used it in the early 90s. In fact, his legendary PV5150 amp was very much based on the Soldano design with a few tweaks. If you've been following my channel, you know I am a huge EVH fan and this connection between the SLO and the 5150 just shows how influential this amp really was and still is. The overdrive channel has so much gain and that smooth, smooth sustain these days, there are a lot of amps like that. The Friedman amps, Boltners, Diesels, etc., etc. But think about when it was released, the late 80s. That was a time when the Marshall JCM800 was around, which had a moderate amount of gain, still needed modding or a boost pedal to get into that really high gain territory. But with the SLO, you had it all built in. You did not need anything else. You basically just plugged into the amp, turned up the gain, not even all the way, 
and you were there. And this is not a one-trick pony, folks. Nope, <laughs> the Clean Stroke Crunch channel is phenomenal as well. In fact, the Soldano Clean Tone has been one of my favorite clean tones to use for years. It is bright and sparkly, warm, full, and when I plug my Strat into the Clean channel, it's like the guitar and the amp are making love. It is downright sexy. I love playing through the overdrive channel on this amp. It has a certain texture and a vibe and it is unlike any other amp out there and that's what attracted me to this plugin. I've actually tried some other SLO plugins by high-end plugin companies and they have sounded good but this, this is next level man. Seriously it is the next level. So if you want to experience that whole Soldano thang for yourself, go and get yourself this plugin. There are a few days left for the Black Friday deals, but even if you don't get it on deal, this is worth every single penny of the full price in my opinion. In fact, why didn't I already buy it? Oh! Shout out for Neural DSP for making such an awesome plugin. It makes my guitar sing. And while I'm talking about my guitar singing, did you see the amazing fret markers on my Sterling Luke and my Washburn N4? They were created by my good friends over at Fretlook. Fretlook create amazing fret marker stickers which you can use to customize your instruments and they made a dream of mine come true. These are my personal chakra fret markers. I designed them five years ago and I'm beyond excited that they are now a reality. They look amazing and they really enhance the look of my guitars and make them my own. Huge, huge thanks and love to Raphael and the guys at Fretlook. Head over to their website and check out the awesome selection they have to personalize your instruments or design your own custom markers like I did. Wonderful people, I want to share the full track and then the isolated tracks with you now. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you like, subscribe and share with your Tone Addict friends as well. And I would love to know what your thoughts are on the tones that I got today. So leave a comment and let's start a conversation. And if you already have the plugin or an SLO, what are your favorite tones from the amp or the plugin? Let me know. Alrighty, it's time to rock and roll. Enjoy the track and rock out like it is 1988. Woo! See you next time. Bye for now.